I'm Lauren from Pack Hacker, and today we're taking a detailed look at the Cotopaxi Coso 2 liter hip pack, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. The outside of this hip pack is pretty simple. So there's not really a lot going on in the front, even less going on in the back. But the biggest thing that you'll notice on the front is this Cotopaxi logo. It's just like a little stitched on patch here. And it's very subtle compared to the colorways. So Cotopaxi is known for being bright and colorful. And this one is no different. All of the colorways on this at the time of this video have a, a lot of contrast to them. So this front panel is a different color from the top bit here, in addition to the zipper. And so you do have you know, that kind of like bright, fun look to it. On the front here is a different material. You can see it like the front panel and then it loops around to the very bottom. And so this is an 840D TPU coated nylon. It's weather resistant, recycled, and it has kind of like a, kind of like a swishy kind of look and a feel to it. And then here on the rest of the body, you have a weather resistant recycled 630D nylon with a PU coating. So overall pretty weather resistant and it does have a uh, pretty unique look to it. Like the rest of the hip pack, this back panel is fairly simple and as is the harness system. So we've got a, a little bit of padding on this back panel, no mesh or anything like that. So it is fairly simple, but it is comfortable against your body. And then with the little attachments here, um, <clears throat> that is what wraps around your body when you have it in either sling mode or hip pack mode. And then you have these G hook adjustments as well. And so you can tighten the fit or loosen it up as needed. I usually kept it on that bottom rung there that felt like the most comfortable part uh, for me just to kind of keep it a little bit loose. But the tighter you move that back, the more it will tighten this front pocket uh, for you, depending on what kind of gear you have stored inside or what kind of look you're going for. And then in addition to that, we have this large buckle here and that it is big, but it does feel proportionate to the size of the pack. So that's good. It's a little bit bulky on, but not uncomfortable. And then when you have a lot of that strap adjustment, depending on what uh, mode you're wearing it in, whether it's sling or hip pack mode, you do have strap keepers as well to keep that in check. So first up is hip pack mode. I found this to be the most comfortable way of carrying it, though it is a bit large. So I didn't find myself using it very often because it was so big. It just feels very large and clunky on the front of me. However, it does sit very nicely versus sling mode, which we'll get into shortly. The one thing that I wanna do bring up here is with this extra strap adjustment because of how tight it is on my body, you do really wanna loop that through back through those strap keepers to keep it managed. So next up is sling mode. And this one here is how I primarily wore it, but it does feel the bulkiest. So I'm really aware of how large it is on the front of me. And then also with the steep angle that it's at, it makes it pretty hard to get gear out. So I found myself really digging around in there because it is two liters. There's a lot of space in there to really lose things. And so I found myself uh, struggling a little bit to get things out when I had it zipped and placed on my body at this angle. As for the external storage on this thing, there are a few different options. So first up is this front compartment, and this is a large gusseted pocket that is a really good dump pocket for large items. However, I would avoid storing small items in here just because it is easy for them to get lost in here. It's also a very large opening, and so I was always very conscious of whether or not something would be falling out. So I really primarily just put my phone in here. And this was really great if I was, you know, running errands or doing something like that, I can just quickly store it in there. So you do have a lot of space to work with. And this is where this compression system comes in. And so if you wanted to, I mean, you can see like how wide those gussets open. If you wanted to really lock that in, that's where you would adjust this a little bit back. And I'll show you kind of from one side to the other, the comparison. So you can see just naturally when it's sitting, like if I were to just set that down and it doesn't fall over, you can see it's a little bit tighter on this side than it is on this side. Just when you go to open it and when you have it, say it's like locked against your body there, it's just a little bit of extra security, especially as you really start to pack things out. So it's nice to have that adjustment. Let's put that back right there. 
But for the smaller items that you do want to keep close at hand, there is a front zipper pocket on this compartment. So this is really great. I mostly kept like my chapstick in here. If you wanted to put your phone in here, that fits as well. I've got an iPhone 13. So you do have some uh, pretty solid external storage on this one here. Um, you know, wallet goes great in there as well, or transit cards if you really want to keep those things secure and close at hand. But if you want a little extra security, we have this back pocket here. So this is a nice flat pocket, great place for like a passport or something like that. And then this is where that extra padding is. So when you have it resting against your body, you do have a little bit of a slight back panel back there in the uh, courtesy of, of this pocket and whatever is stored inside. Going into the main compartment, you can see we've got a reverse coil zipper all the way across the board here, and then a little bit of a weather resistant coating on the top. So the one thing that uh, I noticed when I first got this is there was like a little bit of sticky residue here and I wasn't able to actually get that off. So if you just kind of scrape at it, it doesn't really come off. It almost feels like when you have a sticker on something and then you peel it off and then you can't really get like the extra sticky bit off. I'm not sure where that came from. You know, out of the box, it did have that on there. Very small sort of a blemish thing and it's really not that noticeable, but just a little bit of an annoyance there. So with the zippers, they do have two zippered openings and then these little uh, pull tabs here. They're like a little nylon and they're nice and easy to grab. And then you can, what's nice about them is they can go under these little flaps here. So if you want that extra security, when this is on you, you can't really get to them. However, when this is on you, you can't really get to them. So when I had this on, uh, it was really pulled tight against my body because of how, you know, the weight pulling it forward, that sort of thing. And so it was a little bit difficult to get to these zippers. So I really primarily had to, you know, keep them open and available for myself if I was going to be going in and out of the pack a lot. But going into the actual inside, what's nice about that wide opening is that it makes it a nice and wide opening. And so you can really see everything on the inside here. I've just got a little bit of my gear, notebook, wallet, headphones, and then we have a key clip here. Uh, this key clip is great. It's short, which means that my keys stayed a little bit higher up versus getting lost in the pack with all of the other stuff. So I pretty much, no matter how packed out this was, was able to get to my keys, which was really great for accessibility. And then we have this back hanging pocket here. So this is technically a phone pocket, but I actually really liked it for my sunglasses. So it has a felt liner in there. And so when I was walking around and it was a nice and sunny day, I was able to just kind of stick my uh, sunglasses in and out. If you're not too worried about them, obviously this, there's no like heavy protection, right? This is a pretty flexible pocket. And so if you have a lot of stuff in here, your sunglasses could technically get crushed. But when I was having a little bit of a lighter carry, it was nice to get in and out of there. But if you wanted to, this is also good for a phone. So that is an iPhone 13 there. And then that is, you know, ready and available for you. And it's just a little flap, flappy pocket that stays out of your way um, when you have the rest of the gear in here. So I'm going to take my keys off so you can see what it looks like empty. The very bottom, we just have a really solid rectangular base there. So you can see with this bottom here, it just has a nice like floor to it and that makes it really easy to pack out. So the more gear I added in, the easier it was for me to really like arrange things how I wanted them, which was handy because it is just a dump pocket, right? There's no additional pockets in here. All of that storage is gonna be on the outside of the sling and so, or the, the hip pack rather. So whatever you want to arrange, you can arrange it how, it want, how you want to. Just keep in mind that if you have a bunch of small stuff, it can start to get thrown all over, um, you know, when you're moving the pack around in and out of sling mode that sort of thing. Um, it is a fairly large, it feels really big for two liters. I mean, I have an 18 ounce hydro flask that fits in there with tons of room to spare. So you do have some really solid options for carry if this is something that you wanted to use for like hiking or just everyday carry. If you have a lot of stuff that you like to haul and you really like to keep your hands free, then this is really great for that. So there you have it, the Cotopaxi Coso 2 liter hip pack. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.